Hi everyone, I am Ravi Handa and welcome to another question on geometry. Let ABC be a right angle triangle with the hypotenuse BC of length 20 cm. So suppose this is my right angle triangle where the hypotenuse is 20. If AP is the perpendicular on BC, so let's say this ABC, this is my perpendicular AP, then the maximum possible length of AP will be how much. Now, one of the things that you can do or you can understand, you can try to visualize in this, if suppose these two sides, the perpendicular sides are very different and I keep the hypotenuse as the same. So let's say this is hypotenuse which is 20 and my right angle is something like this, where one side is very small and the other side is very long. In that case, the length of AP or the perpendicular from here to here would be small. On the other hand, this would be close to maximum in a diagram which is something like this where AB is actually equal to AC. When that happens, AP would be the biggest value. If you are able to visualize this, then this question becomes very, very simple because in that case, what happens? Both of these are equal. This is a 90-45-45 triangle or a right angled isosceles triangle. AC becomes 10 root 2, AB becomes 10 root 2 and AP which we were looking for once again this also becomes a right angle triangle with 90 degree 90 45 45 so both these sides become 10 and 10 and my answer comes out as 10 straightforward easy as a peach you don't need to do anything in this question just by visualizing you can solve it but I fully understand that not every one of you will be able to visualize and that is why we need to take a little more mathematical approach to questions like this. So let's try and do that here. Suppose we are given a right angle triangle ABC where we do not know what the sides are. Let's say the sides are X and Y and I just know that the hypotenuse is 20 and then I draw AP and I do not know the length of this perpendicular. Let me say that the length is P. Then, first of all, what is the area of the triangle? Area of the triangle is half base into height, so half xy. Or I can also take this as half of 20 into P because if the base is 20, the height is P, which means I have 20P as xy. My question is, find out the maximum value of P, which is as good as asking me to find out the maximum value of X into Y. Because once I get the maximum value of X into Y, I will put that here and I will get the maximum value of P. How do I find that out? Well, I know that X square plus Y square, they form a Pythagorean triplet with 20 or X square plus Y square is nothing else but 20 square which is 400. Now you consider these two terms x square and y square. For any two terms we know that their arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to their geometric mean. What is the arithmetic mean of x square plus y square? It will be x square plus y square by 2 and what is that? x square plus y square by 2 is 400 by 2 or this is 200 which is greater than or equal to root ab root of x square y square which is nothing else but xy so now i know that the maximum value of xy is 200 or i can simply replace this xy with 20p or i will get my mu equation as 20p is less than or equal to 200 or my perpendicular is less than or equal to 10. That is what was asked. Maximum possible length of AP, maximum possible length of the perpendicular. We have gotten that P is less than or equal to 10. So the maximum possible value is nothing else but 10. So to solve this question, if you want, you can use the visualization or you can also use this concept that arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean of the values given. Hope you will be able to solve questions like this in the exam from now on. Thank you.
please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.